Hello lovely people, here we are once again going to do another group SRT clearing and we're going to do it on the relationship with the higher self. Uh, so we want to uh, remove any blocks, any programs getting in the way of having a fantastic relationship with our higher self. So without further ado, set your intention to receive the benefits of this clearing now for your highest good and let's get stuck in uh, as always. So so there's the chart. Hopefully you can see that all okay. Let's just put more light on it for you. Lovely. Okay, so is um are you clear what we're working on? Yeah, and again, who am I working with? This God team and working with these group SRT clearings. And the relationship with the higher self, where's it running in terms of positivity? Zero and a hundred negative. And in terms of consciousness. We're up here somewhere, mental consciousness. So let's, uh, so that's a, it's a bit higher than some of the other things we've cleared before, but we still need to be all the way up there and all the way up there as a minimum. So let's uh, get the COD team that's doing the clearing and your high self teams that are doing the clearings for you to um, move it from mental consciousness all the way up to radiant love, new paradigm level uh, as a minimum, uh, up to 100 positive down to zero and negative. Uh, this is the relationship with the higher self, the relationship with the higher self. I want to become at one with the higher self. So let's clear away any programs, blockages, condensed energy, shall we say, rather than blockages. But it's the same same thing in, in this uh, aspect. So let's just get this cleared out for your highest good and improve that relationship with the higher self. I hope you're all keeping well. Looking after yourselves, being gentle on yourselves. There's lots of shifts going on at the moment, uh, energetically. Loads of shifts. In this system, it says the higher self or spiritual self is the Christ, the Son of God. It is the spiritual essence made in the image and likeness of God. Um, so we're clearing that relationship there. We also have, it also says separate because I work with the high self teams um, and it's your high self teams clearing this. And it says about the high self here, Jesus referred to his high self as the father within. High self is the master teacher and channel of information from spirit. It can consist of from one to an infinite number of souls, the high self committee, which is what I work with. The best size is two. Uh, we always check um, in the prep to work process that uh, ideally we have two, but no more than three souls that we work with. Otherwise, it can get complex uh, as a larger committee can be obstructive. They have had their incarnations and can be from light level. Uh, sorry, from light status and higher uh, and higher on chart three. Light status on chart three is here so they can go from upwards from here upwards uh, with our levels of consciousness. Um, the preferred level is radiant love. Yeah, radiant love can be paradigm level. Uh, is all the way to the top of the Godhead and above the Godhead and above here, grand eye hole, all the way up to here, radiant love, new paradigm level. And then we go quite a few feet, a hundred and something feet off the page. Um, spirits will, you know, it's spirits constantly experiencing learning. Um, the consciousness is expanding at the time at the moment, so, um, uh, so, uh, you know, it's expanding all the time, it's going further and further, uh, more and more expansive. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. so the high self chain. Uh, whether you are in or out of the body, you have a high self committee. Your high self has a has a high self who has a high self and so forth. That's interesting, isn't it? Your high self has a high self who has a high self and so forth. I call it a chain and there are 112 links in my chain. That's uh, Robert E. Detzler who founded the system. Uh, the lowest level for a high self on chart three is light status, which I've just shown you. And if they are at that level, that is all they know. So you always want to raise the high self committee to the highest level. 
All links have to be at the highest level of consciousness open, which is presently the radiant love new paradigm level, with all knowledge and understanding completely assimilated and accessible, or they will cause problems. So that's why it's always important when we prep to work to ensure that your high selves are at a minimum of radiant love new paradigm level when we're doing individual clearings. Have the whole chain cleared. Ask that all extra links in the chain be removed, leaving one link with two souls. So I'm just going to uh, ensure as well that everyone who's watching this, that all of their high selves are raised to a minimum of radiant love, new paradigm level there. There we go. Right, where are we going first? Let's have a look. Chart five, blocks and interference, negative motivations is where a lot of the entities uh, sit on here. So we've got, what have we got? Imprint of brain damage. That's a strongly held belief of brain damage there. I'm not going to ask any more details about it. I'm just going to ask uh, my God team, your high self teams, to ensure that this is cleared if you're running that. Any imprints of brain damage that are running. And that can come from other lifetimes usually. Um, so uh, I'm just going to read you once again what it says about imprints of brain damage. I've read it before. Um, so uh, an imprint, first of all, is a belief that is impressed upon the subconscious during an emotionally charged time. So it's a strongly held belief. And this imprint can be something that um, that you told yourself, something someone else told you or simply an impression you picked up from someone close to you. Um, imprints on your subconscious mind basically so an imprint of brain damage is sometimes registered at birth the birth process may have been long and difficult and the doctor or midwife or whoever's uh, birthed you may have used forceps for the delivery process and thought i hope i don't damage this this child's brain this is what the the paragraph is saying and the child may have recorded it as actual brain damage you know it's the impression uh again um but uh, imprints can also carry over from past lives as well. They can carry over brain damage, Alzheimer's, Down syndrome and syphilis um, from past lives um, and insanity. It's a conviction that you've been brain impaired uh, from other lifetimes. Uh, you know, many people were accused of insanity. Women um, with period issues, premenstrual stuff and period things, um, uh, or anxiety were accused of being insane and, and shut away in asylums uh, wrongly, as you know. So, um, and, you know, after a while, if you're stuck in a place like that, you, you know, you begin to believe maybe there is something wrong with me. So it, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those hangovers from previous lifetimes, really, that we've carried through quite often. So chart 6A. Master programs, discordant energy, inside right. We've got failure coming up, is it? Let's remove all failure across all time, space, and dimension, elevation, seas, roots, branches. Again, I'm not going to ask any questions because it's a group clearing. We're just going to do a light clearing, clearing from any past lifetimes, future lifetimes, between lives, across all time, space, and dimension, all ancestral lines back to the roots as well. We're just doing a light clearing with these group clearings, just giving you a taste. Uh, if you wish to work with me for uh, to have some individual clearings, I offer an SRT package that really focuses in on, uh, ideally, on a specific issue. It's better to focus in on one issue if you can. That will get more, more effect um, by doing that. But they're much more lengthy, uh, much more in-depth clearings. Uh, the individual ones, we ask a lot more questions and we can reach deeper levels. And it is all layer by layer. It's not going to solve the world's problems by having you know, two or three clearings. It's it's layer by layer, but it gives you a good head start. And you can always look back. Uh, we look back at all the changes that happen in your life. You can often tie it right back to an SRT clearing earlier if you've, if you've had one earlier. So, so we've got, what have we got running there? Um, show me. Curse is running, okay. 
genetic beliefs running there that are blocking the relationship with the high self let's get all those curses cleared again i'm not going to go into any details with those i'm just going to ask the teams they know what they're doing they know what's coming up to clear those and clearing away those genetic beliefs as well that are preventing you from having a closer relationship with your higher self for your highest good across all time space and dimension elevation sees its branches all energy bodies there Okay, where are we going next? 12, 13, looks like 13, which is programs before creation. Yeah, King of Kings level of consciousness we discussed before. Level seven and eight, idea and thought that are getting in the way. Let's clear all of those. When we're talking about levels one through six or level seven and eight, we're referring to charts held on the other side of life. Apparently they, they got 200 plus charts with the teams that I work with. So we can't possibly have all the charts here. It would take forever to clear. So they sort of block, blocked a whole load between levels one through and six and level seven and eight. Um, so we're clearing a whole bunch of charts there. At King of Kings level, which is the egg and sperm level of the living soul. So king of kings level is a sovereign or, or um, ruling consciousness. There is one office and one level. King represents a ruling consciousness, the executive faculty in every person whose life is guided, governed and directed by spirit. King of kings represents the perfect idea of a spiritual man or woman. For example, the Christ ruling in consciousness. Uh, king of kings uh, on our chart three the consciousness chart um, is the point at which the divine idea is formed and each soul is differentiated there are 45,000 possible elements in brackets ideas any combination of the elements can be selected by the 17th level of gods for the ruling idea of each soul that is created. These elements go into the queen of life, which is the next level, to form the spiritual body in the image and likeness of God. And that's referred to in the Bible as Genesis 1, 26, 27. Those creative elements need to be cleared. There you go. So just to show you in that chart three, what we just talked about there. Uh, if you can, can you see the chart? Yes, you can. Um, King of Kings here uh, is here. I know it's reversed on, on here. And then we have the Queen of Life, which is like the womb. Uh, so King of Kings is where the, the idea comes that we just discussed. Then we've got the womb and then we have the living soul, Lord of Lords level, the first expression of the living soul. There. And above that, we have the God level the I am level, the Godhead level, Grand I whole, and then we go all the way up for all these other levels as well. So, where are we going next? Chart 14, which is the pre-fall of consciousness, creating the illusion. So let's have a look what's coming up here. Animal consciousness programs, yep. Misuse of energy in creating conscious mind programs type one. Let's clear all of those. Uh, when we have animal consciousness programs coming up, uh, it's because we've uh, chosen to incarnate our spiritual development unfoldment uh, through the animal kingdom. And we've still got some throwback of some old animal consciousness programs running. You don't have to go through the animal kingdom to progress your spiritual before incarnating as a human. But it's something most of us, certainly that I've come across, have chosen to do. And upon incarnating, we also adopt the belief that we are animals in nature. And those beliefs have caused us difficulties, pain and, and all of the inherent ills and problems of the human condition as well. And one of the major categories of the 2600 pathways, this is the progression there, is animal, which comprises 540 of the total. 
And when an animal completes its path of learning, it can advance to pre-Neanderthal, Neanderthal or full human, depending on the level of intelligence and consciousness. Remember, although, you know, we have, um, I'm sure there's a lot more complexity in that uh, there, but um, whilst we see time as linear, um, when we're incarnating, we can go um, back or forwards in time as uh, the next lifetime that we experience. And we normally are experiencing three or four lifetimes at the same time as well. Something to get your head around. So uh, it isn't just one lifetime lived at a time. It's, it's um, we can jump back and forwards. It's why I think when we incarnate into this lifetime, we have, uh, we feel very, very strongly about another lifetime still. Um, I remember when I was a child, I was absolutely fixated with Egyptian lifetime and it's come to influence me a lot in this lifetime. And I probably jumped from that lifetime into this lifetime uh, for one of the lifetimes anyway. So um, I had white blonde hair most, most of my life until it started going a bit darker. Uh, in my late teens, rebellion to one in this one. Um, blocks to mental expression, fall from grace, blocks to emotional expression. Let's clear all of those, please, in the fall of consciousness for everybody that's watching this for their highest good. Um, and I wanted uh, jet black hair cut in an Egyptian style or what I thought was an Egyptian style, but I wanted jet black hair and, and I was obsessed with Egyptians for a while um, as a child. So um, I, I may well have jumped from an ancient Egyptian lifetime straight into this lifetime. And maybe then after this one, I'll jump straight into a, a future one 200 years in advance or maybe to another planet's consciousness. I don't know. I, I really don't know. It'll be whatever the soul decides, not what I decide. So... Um, the soul knows what it's doing. Right, okay. So where are we going next? 26, freedom is free. Anything on the inside? So there's blocks to there is no judgment. Anything on the outside? So let's clear all those blocks to there is no judgment there. Let's clear those out. I always try to keep these to 15 minutes, but I don't seem to have a... Um, <laughs> manage to keep them at 15 minutes I think I'm trying to give out so much information all the time I hope you find it useful anyway I love doing these for you I really love doing these for you it brings me a lot of joy I'm so grateful for all of your support and, and donations and uh, working with me as well. And even just, just listening to these is, is, is wonderful. That's a gift that you're giving me as well as what I'm giving you. Um, I'm truly grateful for every single one of you. It's lovely to uh, have that community, you know, wherever we are in the world, whatever country we live in. Chart 29, which is final blessing. Anything on the inside again? We're clearing first draft. Anything else on the inside? Anything on the outside? Let's just clear first draft, please. Thank you. So first draft uh, is a complete list of the specifications for the one universe, which includes the preparation for the advent of new souls created in the image and likeness of God. And the first draft contains all the elements of the divine plan, which, much like um, the specifications, would be written for a house that is planned to be built. Um, it's the same sort of principle. They were the specifications that were followed by uh, creator beings at the Godhead level when the spiritual realms were created. So the first draft for a one universe is beyond imagination. And in the book of Revelation, again, uh, tying in with the, the metaphorical understanding of uh, the Old Testament. Uh, the first draft is referred to as the bottomless pit, which actually comes up in uh, one of these charts. Uh, that's Revelations 9, 1. 
chapter 9, verse 1, I'm assuming. Uh, both spirit and high self state that the process of SRT and the book of Revelation are synonymous and signify the cleanup of the soul and the reestablishment of the soul's connection to its source spirit. Lovely. Right, is there anything else before mop up? Anything else to clear? So let's just go straight to a, a very brief mop up process for you where your high self teams are all going to clear what needs to be cleared. My God team is going to oversee that. So I just want to send you enormous love out there. And um, I'm really enjoying doing these ones. So the next one I'm going to be doing after this, I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. So I'll have a look at all these requests that have been coming in and, and uh, see what jumps out. Because it's quite a long list. We're still clearing away. There we go. We're done. Okay, so is the process of mop-up complete? Yeah. Are the high self teams happy? Are the souls happy with it? Will it hold for everybody? Yeah, the soul's free. Yeah. Let's just have a look then. Where is it sitting at now? The relationship with the higher self is 100 positive and zero negative. It feels loads lighter. It really feels lighter in the pendulum now. Um, so where are, we, ooh, where are we going then? There we go. It starts changing here at Radiant Love. Perfect. So there we go. So we seal the Akasha records. Um, that should do you for today. And uh, I wish you a lovely day and tune back again. Uh, I release these every six days. So, um, so I hope they help and mm, lots of love to you all. Have a great day. Bye.